Good morning everybody, DC here. It's the 27th of the 6th, 19. And um, I've got something interesting for my uh, subscribers. Um, today, um, I'm gonna just discuss the ether, Nikola Tesla's ether. And I, I think today we've got proof of the ether it does exist. There is something there. And maybe today I can show this to you. So it's a, a new type of electricity that I've discovered. Um, if, for those of you that have been following my other uh, videos, um, I wasn't sure whether it was AC or DC or static or what we were seeing. Well, today, um, I think I think this proves that there is ether, or at least ether pressure, Nikola Tesla's ether. So uh, the other thing that I want to mention is that since I've been doing this, I'm feeling really good. Since I've been using this low frequency uh, machine, apparatus, uh, call it what you want, autogen, I'm feeling really good. And not only that, people are saying to me, you've got a certain glow about your fe face and that. Well, uh, as long as it's not atomic, I suppose that's all right. So today, what we're going to be looking at is, um, this is an end view here of, I'll just show you this here on the machine. <clears throat> an end view of this here, looking at the end here. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is, I'm going to be touching the steel scaffold tubes here with a wire and also going to be touching these wires here and what I've discovered that the the whole of this area is covered in potential and I'm getting sparks off it and I shouldn't be getting sparks off it I'm just I'll leave it at that for now but let me go back to the drawing so um, we've got an end view of what I've just shown you you've got your fluorescent uh, tube in the middle here and we've got the, the coils the six coils going round and then off one of the coils here, uh, which is a blue wire, uh, I'm going to connect four meters of ordinary uh, 1.5 lighting wire cable. It's a single copper wire. It's about four meters long. And it's not connected to anything. It's just suspended in the air. And yet a, a spark jumps from this copper wire to the blue, from the red wire to the blue wire. Also, if I take this red wire here and put it near to the end of these steel tubes, yeah, the, there's a, a spark jumps there as well. So what I think's happening here, uh, it's uh, it's not magnetically induced. I think it's um, I think it's like another this other field that we've been talking about, the dielectric field, and uh, I've got some dotted green lines here. Uh, dotted lines there and I think what I think what's happening is as the pulses are going out of d dielectric pulse the the, the 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 quickness of the pulse actually doesn't give the it disturbs let's call them electrons or it disturbs the copper wire and what it does it disturbs it that quick that it doesn't have chance to go back so it's a pump 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 uh, and that's the why there's, there's a spark coming here. There should be no spark because this wire isn't connected to anything. It just runs out, runs along the floor. So that's what's happening today. And um, looking at a uh, end view, uh, side view, side view here, fluorescent tube in the middle. We've got this, whatever's going on here, these, uh, we'll call them dielectric waves are going out. And these waves are actually making me feel good. <laughs> I'm feeling topping. I'm 71 years, uh, 71 years of age, and I'm feeling really good. Uh, well-being. So uh, Nikola Tesla went on about this feeling good and well-being, and I may have just stumbled across something here. So I will put the lights out, and um, and we'll see what. Uh, what goes on so if you bear with me I will have to be very careful because I may get an electric <laughs> an electric shock here so I'm going to stop the video for a minute and then start another video hi again everybody DC here um, okay uh, what uh, I'm going to do now is get this red wire here and it's just a wire that's just 
goes along to the floor, goes up to the wall, and, and it's just hanging here, look, on a nail. So it's just, a, it's not connected to anything other than the nail. And um, I'm gonna, with this wire, I'm going to, I'll have to be careful here because there's a lot of power going through this unit now. I'm going to be sort of nearly touching the steel tube in here and I'll be, be touching some of these uh, end of the coil wires here and you'll see a spark jump across. Um, well this shouldn't happen and uh, I think what's happening is that uh, there's a return voltage being forced into, the, in, into this wire, this red wire. And this, to me, explains that there is ether. I'll also be touching uh, these tools on here with this um, tester, this neon tester. And you'll see that the tools are alive again. So, <clears throat> without further ado, um, I'm, I'm going to put the, the light out. And I'll just have to wait a second or two while I get used to the dark because I don't want to be electrocuting myself so just bear with me here folks while I set it set up okay so everything's firing away nicely um, okay I've got the wire here you can see the wire and I'm gonna to have to be very careful here first of all I'm going to just merely touch one of these the coil windings, one of the wires. Can you see the spark there? Terrific spark. And now I'm going to touch the, or not quite touch the tubing. I have to be careful here, folks. And there's a real powerful spark there, really strong. It's jumping about two, two mil. And I'm going to put that down now. Now that wire wasn't connected to anything. And again, they've got a few tools here. The tools are live. Really live. You can also see it, that this is wanting to glow anyway but the tools all the tools spanner lie pliers lie it's amazing so there we, there we are folks um there's something going on there i don't want it i'm gonna put the light back on but what i think it is it's the nikola tesla's ether so there's the red wire it's just open at this end and open at that end and a spark's jumping across. I also take this wire and put it at the end of these uh, scaffold tubes and it jumps across again. So I've been looking at the, uh, the, the electrical content within the unit and when it, even when I join all the coils together, with all these wires joined together, there's no extra output. It's all standard. It's all it's all live it's just it's like ringing it, it's just all live with the same potential so even though i've done all these coils makes no difference okay folks that's my finding today uh dc signing out for now And it's just an ordinary fluorescent tube lying, lying in that scaffold tube and it's getting all these effects. It's affecting the ether. The gas in the tube is somehow affecting the ether through the steel. DC signing out.